What is up, guys? Donkut97 here, bringing you a brand new Halo MCC challenge guide. Today, we're taking a look at the weekly PvE challenges Urban Warfare, which is to complete three campaign missions set in urban environments. And the other challenge here is Forza Firefight, which is to complete two campaign missions in under 20 minutes each. Now, I don't understand why 343 changed time trial to become Forza Firefight. All they did was remove one attempt required for that weekly PvE challenge. But that's about it. We're doing both these challenges here in the same guide. And the level I like to do this on is Halo 3 ODST's Tyari Plaza, as from all the Halo games in MCC, it can be completed the quickest without using a single skull. So yeah, the difficulty for this ranges from normal to legendary. And like I said, no skulls are required at all. Pretty much starting off, you're going to follow the same path that I'm taking here. Um, honestly, this level is probably the most optimal one to do it on. You can complete this in about two minutes per run. So, I would say it takes overall maybe five minutes to do the entire challenge if you account for loading times and all that fun stuff. Some of the other levels for this challenge are Outskirts, Metropolis, those are both from Halo 2. Halo 3, you can complete it on the level of the Storm. Here in ODST, I believe you can complete this on every level except for Uplift Reserve. And in Halo Reach, you can complete this challenge on New Alexandria and Exodus. I would definitely recommend doing this here though, like I said, in Tyari Plaza or in Halo 2 on Outskirts. Both of those are the quickest levels that are available for this, though Tyari Plaza here is extremely quicker than even Outskirts. And with Outskirts, you have to do a few grenade jumps, but skulls like Sputnik do help that out. But this is a guide here for um, Tyari Plaza, which there really isn't much to give you a guide on. When you get to this section though, I recommend killing the Jackal up in the Sniper Nest, but... Be careful, there are two more Jackals with Carbines behind the Sniper Nest, if maybe you saw the light of the one right to my left. I like to throw a grenade into that swarm of Shielded Jackals, just to get them to kind of bug out and not all swarm up at you. Come over here, kill both these Jackals. I recommend taking their Carbine to make this a lot easier for you. Come over here and open the door, or open the door first, then go kill the Jackals, so the door is open by the time you've killed them. Once you walk through, you want to come over here, grab the health pack here on the left like I am about to do, grab the extra carbine ammo, and then jump down off this little bridge that goes over the street. And don't even worry about those carbine jackals to your left. Just come over here. If you have any grenades left, use all your grenades pretty much right here to kill any of the jackals and that brute if he's in your way. Use the carbine to also eliminate them. So yeah, once these guys are dead, you're pretty much just going to walk up the pathway where the hunters will come out. Once the door opens, I recommend just trying to your best to avoid the hunters, though. I have found it's easier to just walk between them. They usually miss you. Once you're through there, you're pretty much done with the level, unless they end up killing you from behind. But that shouldn't be a problem. Once you come over to here, you're at the end. There's three grunts waiting for you to kill them. That's about it, guys. I hope this helped with these challenges for you guys. But remember, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe so I know you guys did. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.